My hobby has always been researching and documenting interesting bay fields in Shawamigan Bay and Apostle Island related facts, some legends, lore, probably a few lies have been thrown into it too. I believe I found a little gem of a historical legend story that hopefully complements the uh, Bayfield Heritage Association's Lost Formations of the Apostle Islands exhibit. So from the Bayfield County Press, published on Friday, May 29th, 1908, there was an article titled as The Pirates of Oak Island and subtitled as A Charming Legend of the Apostle Islands Unveiled in This Piece of Romantic Lore. Now, if you believe me, great. But for the fact checkers out there, this story can be located today in the archives of the Bayfield Heritage Association. Now, I'm going to submit to the text of the article, transcribed verbatim, and it's from, again, from Bayfield's local newspaper, the Bayfield County Press. And so it was written, according to the story of which its author lies hidden, there once was a band of adventurous pirates known as the Apostles, and their chief in the latter part of the 18th century made rendezvous among the Apostle Islands and on Oak Island in particular, where they were protected from the sudden attacks by the rugged shores. For a time, these pirates met with wonderful success. They not only robbed traders and voyagers, but they plundered a party of French capitalists on their way to the newly discovered copper mines at the French River on the North Shore. The pirates killed the entire party, except the mining engineer, from whom they expected to gain stock knowledge of the proposed mining operations. These parties made a real worship of the little vessel they stole from the murdered capitalist, and this eventually proved their means of discovery and capture of the band. The whereabouts of this war vessel was learned, and an expedition sent against them took the pirates by surprise. Still the apostles, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, with Judah, the first lieutenant, and Philip, the secretary, along with the chief and six others, were taken to Montreal, Canada, where all but the chief was executed. The romantic part of this story is provided by the mining engineer, who escaped murder at the hands of the pirates. During his captivity, he fell in love with an Ojibwe girl named Madeline by the white inhabitants, and the light of day by her adopted father, who was a great medicine man of the Ojibwe. This engineer, after reaching Montreal, discovered that the pirate chief was his own brother, and through various heroic measures managed to save his neck. He then married Madeline. That's the end, folks.